Katika kikao na wanahabari katika majengo ya bunge viongozi wa kutoka eneo la Nyanza waliojawa na hamaki wameitaka serikali kuchukua hatua za dharura kumaliza uhasama ulioko eneo la Sondu kwenye mpaka wa kaunti za Kisumu na Kericho. What is happening in Sondu would in other words amount to what could be could be would amount to what could be described as ethnic cleansing and this is not the first time this thing is happening in Sondu. And this indeed is a continuation of the massacre that we saw during Mandamanu. And even at that particular time, clashes broke out in the Sondu region. Inadaiwa watu wanne wamepoteza maisha katika mashambulizi ya hivi punde. As we speak now, have just been confirmed even after alerting the police that several schools in the region and on our side have been closed. That is all of primary school has been closed, all of primary and secondary schools kwa mujibu wa mbunge wa eneo hilo Oduma Owor shule saba zimeathirika kufuatia machafuko hayo I want to also tell the president that unless this is stopped the leader of these people I will stop at nothing I'm also going to arm our people if the government does not take action to protect themselves It is a shame a big shame that we have the PS of Interior Mr Raymond Omolo coming from Karachuonyo right next to this area of Sondu quiet and busy organizing political meetings in the region and parties while the people are being killed in Sondu area. We want the regime in power to suspend any other activities planned or ongoing and focus on stopping these killings. Because if left unchecked, these killings have got the potential to snowball into a civil strife Hayo yanajiri wakati ambapo Rais William Ruto anatarajiwa kuanza ziara yake eneo hilo mnamo Ijumaa wiki hii Sisi tunataka kujenga manyumba Viongozi hao pia wameibua maswali kuhusu wasimamizi wa idara za usalama nchini huku wakitaka wahusika wajiuzulu kama wameshindwa na kazi So if the people who are in charge of this cannot do it they should quit their positions We cannot as a country Kenya Say we are going to send policemen security to Haiti to secure the security of Haitians when we in Kenya cannot secure the security of our own people. Either we are pretending to the international world or we are deliberately hurting these people in this particular area. Gavana wa Kericho Dr. Eric Mutai ametoa wito kwa amani miongoni mwa wenyeji. I would wish to indicate that as leaders it is not the time to cast a passion, it is not the time to play politics into the lives of innocent people, but it's time to sit and show direction. Naye gavana wa Kisumu Professor Nyang Nyong katika taarifa yake amelaani matukio hayo ya uvamizi huku akitaka wanaohusika kuchukuliwa hatua mara moja. Philip Muruturuninga K24 Nairobi